What the hell is going on, people? This is Periodic, and you see the title of the video. We are jumping back. It's Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. In order to answer the age-old question, which is actually a very easy question to answer, should you spend stones or skip the PyCon banner? Hit my thought. I shut it down wherever power is stored Being real is in the past, watch the cowards get on, 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 on It ain't kill me, so it's making me stronger And these bite size rappers now sense in my home so we're going to be breaking down this banner in its entirety. We're going to go through every single unit and really go over the value of this first. Before we talk about any characters at all, we have to mention that this is going to be a dual Dokkan festival, meaning there's going to be another Dokkan banner. And typically, from what we've seen before with dual Dokkan fest, for global, you will have three plus ones. You will most likely have discounted summons for the first three, and you will probably have tickets so the f the last two are i'd say a 70 percent chance of happening the first one is almost 100 percent. and what three plus one means is for every 50 dragon stones you spend meaning for every multi you do you will get a free multi so for every 150 dragon stones you will get a free multi not too bad uh, what they will most likely do as well, like I said, is the discounts. So the first three multis will more than likely cost just 100 dragon stones. So you'll save 50 dragon stones from that amount. 100 dragon stones, you get your three rotation, and then boom, you get your free unit at the end, or your free 10 units at the end. Uh, and then last but not least, we may get tickets where for every multi you do, you get three tickets. Uh, you get a total of 10, boom, you get to do another free multi. They may just have that in the Pilaf Trove pack and not um, have it uh, able, not have you able to uh, acquire tickets from the multis. We're not sure yet. We're going to have to see how it is. Uh, they'll most likely have some type of data download. We'll get more information in the future. Uh, Japan does not do tickets. So, well, let me take that back. They don't do summoning tickets, all right? They don't do purchasable tickets. They don't do anything like that. Uh, they do handout tickets. Um, they'll do things like the, you know, 55 unit ticket, the, all that stuff, right? The 60 char 66 character, whatever it was, ticket. We don't really have a precedent except for what we've seen on global before. So with that out of the way, that is big value, big, big value. Any banner that has three plus ones, discounts and possibly tickets that is huge so let's go over the banner itself and see if for whatever reason because the value is already up here let's see if the characters on the banner start to peel away the value or if it solidifies it and makes it even stronger so let's start at the bottom with strength Gogeta. So Strength Gogeta, obviously Extreme Z Awakened. Uh, for a newer character, for a newer player, I should say, that doesn't really have the ability to do much easy A's, this is kind of a bad pull for you because he's not going to be effective right off the bat. He's not good in his pre-easy A. Before easy A's were even a thing, when he first launched, he was unbelievable. Nowadays, not so much. But if he gets his Extreme Z Awakening, if you're able to complete those events, then he's pretty darn good. Immense damage, uh, one of the highest in the game for a non-LR character. Lowers attack and defense, not too bad. Attack and defense, 77%. Not great, not bad though. And then gains 7% more attack for every rainbow orb that uh, he obtains. And his attacks off the bat, effective against all types, means that the, he's not going to run into a wall in terms of damage. Great links as well. Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, prepare for battle over in a Flash Fuse Fighter and Fierce Battle. Makes him very, very solid. Leader skill kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Uh, the categories that he's on isn't bad either. Super Saiyans, Movie Heroes, Fusion, uh, and then you have a few other Final Trump card, obviously, kind of the top ones. But he is not bad for someone who's um, been playing for a while. He can hit definitely very hard, but for somebody who's brand new, very low value in, in this character. Next up, AGL Gogeta. So if we see him right here, AGL Gogeta, still very, very powerful. Now, this is a character that if you're brand new to the game or if you've been playing for a while, very effective. And that's not a pun on his passive skill. Greatly raises attack for one turn, so he's going to give himself a 50% attack boost. Also causing immense damage. A lot of damage there. Uh, leader skill is actually really good. Movie heroes and fusion. Two pretty good categories. Especially if you combine them together. 
passive skill, 100% attack and defense, attacks effective against all types, just like that other Gogeta. That means that if he's fighting uh, somebody that has type advantage against him, then he's going to bypass that, which is great. 25% chance of dodging enemies' attack includes a super attack. So you just have 25% evasion built right into the character. That's perfect. Takes five turns for him to transform, but when he does, gets extremely strong. Now you're greatly raising attack for three turns, meaning 50% increase on, on your attack, and that will go for every three turns. Also doing immense damage, right? That's not going to fall off. You've gained 30% attack and defense, so now you're at a buck 30. You're guaranteed to crit no matter what. Guaranteed to crit. That's huge. 50% chance of dodging super attack. Fantastic. Links are very good as well, just like most Gogeta units. You're going to be able to pair up with a lot of different fusion characters. Fantastic Gogeta right there. Doesn't matter how long you've been playing this game, or if you're brand new, this dude is going to help you out no matter what. Rainbow him as soon as possible. Next up is Physical Broly. Again, just like the uh, AGL Gogeta, another fantastic unit to get. Whether you're a brand new player or a long-term player, you want to rainbow this guy out as fast as possible. Because if you're a long-term player, you're going to be really focusing on leveling up links. And this guy is the king of helping you clear 23-8 as fast as possible, right? Movie boss and full power category. Again, two fantastic categories, especially when combined together. Greatly raises attack for one turn. Does supreme damage. Not immense. Supreme damage, but to all enemies. That's a big deal. Does it to all enemies. So it's an AoE attack that hits every single enemy on the board. Uh, six key. So you're going to be gaining six key from the dual leader skills, right? Three key, three key. And then you're going to give yourself another six key. So it's a guaranteed super attack, essentially. 130% uh, attack, 100% defense. Not bad. Transforms after four turns. Even better than Gogeta. When he does transform, he's now doing immense damage. He loses the AoE, but he's now doing immense. And he's massively lowering defense. That's an 80% debuff on the enemy's de defense. Giving himself 8 key now instead of 6. Goes up to 8. Attack goes from 130 to 188. And defense goes from 100 to 120%. And guaranteed to launch an additional attack. That attack has a 50% chance to be a super attack. So you're going to be double supering like crazy. Great links, particularly for Broly's and other kind of Saiyans and things like that. So fantastic character right there. Next up. AGL Turles. This, I would say, is hmm, on the opposite end of the spectrum than the Strength Gogeta. This character is very, very good for newer players. All allies gain 3 key and 40% attack, and superclass enemies have their attack lowered by 15%, plus a 30% chance, I believe, 30% chance to stun for 2 turns. That is pretty good. In lower level content. Unfortunately, in stronger content and more difficult content, the fact that he has zero defense and doesn't gain defense on his super attack and really only gains a decent amount of defense on his links. But again, we're looking at 5% from Prepare for Battle. We're looking at 15% from Thirst for Conquest. We're looking at 25% from Big Bad Bosses. And then if you're able to get Destroyer of the Universe, which no one really has this link, 15%. And when I say that, let me just show you who has this link. Turles, Turles, and then these guys. No one really has this link. So if you're able to activate that, that's all good and dandy. But really, you're sitting at like what? Uh, 15, 25. You'll be like a little bit over 50% defense. Just not enough. Unless if you're boosting into this Turles, you're going to be doing immense damage, 50% chance to stun, which is good. And then now you're sitting at 130% attack and defense. That's not bad. And you're gaining back HP and you're lowering superclass enemies defense by 80%, which is absolutely insane. But of course, it's a hard transformation to acquire because you only have a 25% chance of transforming um, just for three turns, right? Only three turns. And then you're going to go right back and you have to be below 80% HP. And honestly, you don't really want to transform because you're going to lose the passive that gives all allies three key and 40% attack kind of sucks. Uh, but it is what it is. So this guy is good early on. Later on, you're not going to bring him on ESBR or um, something like, you know, Super Battle Road, Category Super Battle Road or anything like that. Um, yes, he has that small chance to stun, but if he gets hit, you are absolutely dead. Let's move along to Tech 
boo as you can see right here tech boo right in the middle now uh tech boo kind of sucks <laughs> for the first few turns uh, greatly raises attack 50 percent increase immense damage pretty good leader skill not bad majin power great category absolutely love it a lot of heavy hitters artificial life forms great category again a lot of heavy hitters uh passive skill a little bit weak 100 percent attack not a lot one key reduces damage by 40 percent um i prefer damage reduction when it's paired with defense because 40 percent damage reduction is just damage reduction if you're getting hit for i don't know let's just say a hundred thousand damage right 40 percent damage reduction means that you're still taking 60k now if you are getting super attacked in a infinite dragon ball history event and you would normally take 400,000 because that could potentially happen, right? You could potentially take 400,000. Instead, you're going to take over 200,000, which is still an absolutely insane number. So I'm not a huge fan of defense of damage reduction because it also doesn't scale off of items that increase your defense, right? So if you're gaining uh, uh, percentage defense, then Damage reduction isn't going to really do much. Um, it's not going to gain a buff, if that makes sense. Whereas a defensive bonus, like 100% defense, would have. Um, it, it works well. Damage reduction, again, works really well when you already have defense. That, that's the simplest way I can explain it. Anyway, it takes three turns for him to transform. When he does, he turns into Evil Boo. Again, still greatly raising that attack for that one turn. Immense damage, but now he seals super tech. Now he seals super tech. That is good. So I like that he's actually gaining some form of uh, mechanic, some form of utility, because here he doesn't at all. Here he's not at 150% attack, which is good. 150% attack, now he can actually do some damage. Still reducing damage by uh, 40%, so hasn't increased anything in terms of defense, but has a 50% chance of stunning the attacked enemy, so essentially has the tech Raditz ability, and 25% chance to dodge. So now that we're getting into the damage reduction plus the dodge chance, that is a pretty good pair. I would still love to see some defense, but I am fine with him having a 25% chance to dodge, all right? I do like that, plus he has the seal, Plus, he has the stun. So this dude is very... He's like a bot. He's a spam bot, right? He gets, He's a stun bot. He's a seal bot. He's a, a dodge bot. And he's a damage reduction bot. So now he's looking very good. Uh, very solid. Four more turns pass by. Your HP is 70% or more. He can turn into Super Boo. Now he's actually insane because he's sitting at 50% damage reduction. He's greatly raising his attack and defense for three turns when he super attacks. So now he actually has defense to reduce the damage. So now that damage or that 50% damage reduction skyrockets because let's just say you're going to take 400,000 um, damage, right? And now you've increased your defense by 50%. Um, now let's just say you've done it twice. You super attack twice. So now you've increased your defense by a hundred percent. Um, that 400,000 drops down to 300,000 and 50% drops that down to 150,000. All right. 150,000. Whereas before you would have gotten hit for what? 220, 230,000. Just that little bit of defense has lowered the amount of damage you're taking by 70 80 000 damage plus so that's a big deal that's the difference between beating the event and losing the event all right uh key three 220 percent attack insane attack chance of chance of performing a crit 12 percent per rainbow orb which is incredible still sealing super attack still sealing super attack the Majin links are some of the best in the game. Just keep that in mind. Next, LR Gogeta, LR Super Saiyan Goku, LR Super Saiyan Vegeta. Uh, still a really good character. Unfortunately, they've been around for a long time, but still a really good character. 120% attack and defense. Two key uh, for every rainbow orb. So you're actually getting three orbs every time you pick up rainbow. 
12 key causes colossal damage to the enemy 18 key raises attack and then causes mega colossal which is great but uh the fusion condition is a little bit difficult it was the first you know uh, transformation in the game alongside of the vegeto so obviously they were going to make it a little bit tough uh but this one is pretty rough you have to wait six turns. You have to drop below 50% HP. Once you do that, you turn into Super Gogeta, who's still one of the strongest characters in the game. Uh, you gain back all your HP, attacks effective against all types, 150% attack and defense. So really fat stacks, really fat stats, I should say. Three key now, so you're gaining four orbs for, or you're gaining four key for every rainbow orb you get. Uh, 18 key, lowers attack and defense, mega colossal damage. You're doing ridiculous amounts of damage. You're pretty tanky fantastic unit and then last but not least before we get to the main guy we're looking at the five-year anniversary character uh gogeta final trump card fusion great combo uh, stacks attack for his 12 and 18 key 70 percent attack and defense three key launches additional attack that has a 25 percent chance of becoming a super attack when attacking so what that means is he's going to give himself uh key three key and he's going to launch a guaranteed additional attack that is a 25% chance to become a super, which is very, very good. He also, if you put him as the third character in the turn, he's going to have a 50% chance of dodging enemies attack, which is very nice. After four turns, the boy is going to transform. I don't know why this art is a little busted, but it is what it is. Where now he's going to be raising his attack and defense on his 12 key, raising his defense on his 18 key. He's sitting at attack and defense 77%. He's giving himself five key now, and he's still guaranteed launching that additional attack, but he's going to gain 7% attack every time he does so. And that's going to cap at 77%. So every time he throws a, pit, a punch, every, th every time he throws a kick, every time he you know shoots a blast, 7% attack and defense caps at 77. So that's going to put him somewhere around the 213%, 214% cap. Uh, which is fantastic, right? Uh, also, first or second attacker in the turn, he, his attacks are effective against all types, and he does that stacking mechanic. If he's the third attacker in the turn, he does not do the stacking mechanic, but he guaranteed launches an additional super attack, and he's got a 50% chance of dodge, which is great. Uh, of course, the active skill is incredible. You drop below 50% HP, greatly raises your attack, ultimate damage. You have to be facing only one enemy, but it is what it is. Links are incredible. You already know the deal. This dude is great on longer events. Shorter events, he's a little meh, but on longer events, he can punch out some of the strongest, most insane damage you've ever seen in the game. Last but not least, what you're here for, PyCon. PyCon is the Connected Hopes category lead and super class, 130%. This is the Connected Hopes category, all right? This is the Connected Hopes category. Honestly, not a terrible category. Not a fantastic one either. What does he do? Greatly raises attack for one turn, causes immense damage to enemy, and greatly lowers attack. That's pretty solid. 50% increase on his attack, lowers uh, the enemy's attack by, I believe, 50%, 30% for three turns, and does immense damage. Pretty good. What else does he do? Well, if he has a Angel Goku or an Angel Vegeta attacking in the same turn. And you can use that Gogeta that we just talked about. So these are the uh, Angel Gokus here, right? Not many. <laughs> Not many, but you would have to see any Goku that has the word Angel, including Super Saiyan. So these would work, but they're SSRs. This would work. Uh, these guys would work, all of these, the AGL Super Saiyan 2, the Super Saiyan 2, the Strength 1, uh, Super Saiyan 3 Gokus would work as long as it says Goku Angel, uh, etc, etc. I don't think there's anybody else that has Goku Angel in the name. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's about it. Uh, and then, of course, Goku and Vegeta Angel, all of these guys, right? So all of those units would work, or Vegeta Angel, again, just has to have the name Vegeta and Angel. So this man here, um, I don't think anybody up here. No, if we scroll down, uh, these guys are SSRs. Uh, obviously, the LR Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta. And I think that's it. There's not many Angel Vegetas in the game. So you're better off going with a Goku or just bringing these boys, the Strength Vegito or the Super Saiyan 3 Gogetas. So that will fulfill the unit super attack, the partner super attack effect. What does it do? Still greatly raising attack for one turn. Causing immense damage, just like the other one. Attacks become effective against all types. 
and you're still greatly lowering attack. So essentially, the difference is that your attack is now becoming effective against all types. So you're just going to do a ridiculous amount of damage no matter what. Passive skill, 150% attack and defense. You're giving super class allies two key and attack and defense 30% if you're obtaining three or more orbs. They have to be type orbs. They can't be rainbow orbs. Keep that in mind. Plus an additional four key and 50% chance of dodging enemies attack and seals the attack's enemy's super attack with a rainbow orb obtained. So it's giving you kind of a double whammy, right? If you're grabbing type orbs, uh, at least three, then you become a support. If you're grabbing at least one rainbow orb, then you're going to be able to dodge, seal, and give yourself even more key. So pretty crazy. This man also has an active skill. Let me explain it to you. <laughs> Starting from the fourth turn, facing only one enemy, HP has to be 50% or more. You essentially use a, what is the item? Um, a ghost usher. You delay your target's enemy attack for one turn. You use a ghost usher. Even if that effect does not work on them, it still will work. Okay, so that's the difference between this guy and the Ghost Usher. The Ghost Usher makes it so it's an item that uh, sometimes can be negated. His is not. His links, not the best, I'm not going to lie. Supreme Warrior, Gentleman, Experienced Fighter, Shock and Speed, Cold Judgment, Otherworld Warriors, Fierce Battles. So some of them are good. Uh, Experienced Fighter, Shock and Speed, Cold Judgment, Fierce Battle. You're going to be able to find those. Otherworld Warriors gonna be a little bit rough to find as you can see here kind of rough to be able to locate that uh gentlemen also going to be a tough one to be able to locate because honestly it's a bunch of weiss and sell that's going to be very difficult to try to get together and then also supreme warrior is one that's a little bit wonky and not particularly great it's two key attack 10 percent but as you can see, again, list is very, very small. So unfortunately, he's kind of saddled with a lot of very limited links. Very limited links. So after all of that, after we've gone over everything and talked about who's on the banner, what do they do, what type of banner we're having, the determination, should you spend stones or skip? skip you're going to be skipping this banner um the only reason you would be going in on this banner is if the first three multis are 100 dragon stones if the first three multis are 100 dragon stones and you don't have a dupe in strength gogeta and maybe you don't have tech boo then i could 100 percent see you using the 100 dragon stones but if you have Strength Gogeta at like 79%, Tech Boo at like one dupe, Gogeta at like three dupes, maybe rainbowed, the rest of them just straight up rainbowed or close to it, don't summon on this banner, man. <laughs> don't do it. The exchange coins are not in the game yet. And remember, the dupes that you pull for rainbowed units as of right now on Global are meaningless. They are Baba food. You will not be able to use them in the future for exchange coins. You just can't do it. So the there's definitely a huge, huge uh, motivating factor to save your stones, particularly for the six-year anniversary. I'm almost guaranteeing that the same name update and the exchange coin mechanic will be in the game before the six-year anniversary. So you're going to want to save your stones and do not summon on this banner again unless if you're a whale or you're really hurting for characters then just do the first three multis if they're discounted if they're not stay away from this banner completely but you shouldn't stay away from this channel go ahead and click that blue join button join the ranks of chris gonzalez and wolverine gaming as a boomer elite or a boomer champion if you want to do it the free to play way that's fine too go ahead and gently rub that sub button gingerly ring that bell button lovingly kiss the like button as always this is periodic see y'all in the next video